slide. And go back to <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is five ways, five ways you can build your car or even Dodge Charger is what I'm in right now on a budget, guys. Yes, five different ways you can build it. Um, so a lot of people when they get cars man they don't know where to start off where to start off so when you get a car it depends on what style you're going for etc etc um so i went for a show low type style for my dodge charger so i didn't go for the whole racing with the wicker build and all that stuff i went for a, a like a street street look low look um, so that's the style I went with, but I put a little twist on it as well um, Because it's not like a normal street look type of car So we're gonna get into this video guys on five ways five ways To build your car on a budget and it, it really all depends on what style you're going for as, as well So I'm just going to talk about overall style um, Just the five things you need not need to do but should do if you want to make your car look somewhat nice on a budget all right so a lot of people don't know when you get a car back in the day back in my day when you get a car you used to get alarms first that's always the first thing you want to get is an alarm uh, but this day and time with technology and all that some cars you don't have to do that so the first thing you want to do on building your car on a budget is get tent. Yes, I know tent. Really, it only costs a couple hundred dollars, but tent makes your car looks ten times different. Though um, it doesn't matter what color you get, what color car or anything, tent makes your car look different. And you can get tent out there for a hundred up to thousand dollars. It depends on. It depends on where you're going and all that but yeah tent is by far one of the first upgrades you need to do now if you old school like me tent and lawn was always the first thing you will get uh, when you get your brand new car like you leave the you leave the dealership and go straight to the tent shop that's like by far everybody knows that everybody all right so the second thing you need to get after you get your tent, it's wheels, all right? Now, I know a lot of y'all saying, man, wheels cost a lot. Not necessarily. You have too many resources out there nowadays where you can get rims very cheap. Back in the day, I know I keep saying back in the day, but back in the day, we didn't have social media. We didn't have all this platforms and all this fancy gadget, gadget stuff back in the day we had to go to store to shop to store to pawn shop to find us rims my first set of rims guys i only paid 600 dollars, and they were 18 inch inky 2ks and back then 18s felt like 24s to how they do now um so yep rims guys and you can go to facebook the place market you go to offer up let's get let's go craigslist pawn shop there's just so many resources you can find rims for dirt cheap now and then people sell rims cheaper than what they used to sell them back in the day too so you can find you a good set of 18 20 inch wheels 22s if you're trying to do something crazy or even 24s for a very very cheap price all right, so the next thing, guys, the next thing you want to do to get your car to set apart like everybody else is HIDs or LED headlights. That's by far the first, one of the first things you want to do now. If your car doesn't come with HID or LED headlights, make sure you do that. That is a must to give it that nice blue look in the front when you're driving down the street very bright uh pissing off people that's in front of you coming the opposite way 
But yeah, HIDs and LEDs is the number three thing you want to do. And then the fourth thing, guys, we're going to keep on that LED topic. Change out every single light in your car to LEDs. Change out every light to LEDs, guys. Um, by doing that, it makes your car more visible and more um, basically visible. I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say, but it makes it more visual and everything. So you can see everything. Your car is super bright, um, definitely at night. It might blind you. It might do some crazy stuff. And if you want to go to take it to the extra notch, get these. These are super bright as well. Look at those. I don't even use them. And I never had nobody in my car to use it. But when my wife use them, she don't even want to use them because they're so bright. But yeah, guys, LEDs. LEDs in your car is a must. Uh, that's the fourth thing. So the fifth thing, guys, is the subwoofers. Subwoofers in the trunk, guys. Subwoofers in the trunk. You don't have to go get no 15s or 18s. Get you some nice 10s or 12s just for a little, for a little bump, bump, bump. Um... Yeah, guys, and that's pretty much it, man. If you get that, if you get your subwoofers, you'd be looking good. So, tent rims. <clears throat> oh, I forgot what the heck I was talking about. No, oh, tent rims, uh, headlights, the LED or HIDs, the LEDs on the inside, and some subwoofers. And that's how you build your car on a budget. And a lot of that stuff doesn't cost a lot of money, guys. Um, if you're like me, you can do it yourself and you can be successful as well because labor is where is that the labor costs always more than damn near the parts. But other than that, guys, that's all I have for the video. That was five ways to build your car on a budget. And this is just not Dodge Charger. This is every single car. Um, and this is old school, man. This is how we used to do it old school. Some people do it different. Some people get the tent and alarm. I know I didn't include alarm but because technology. But they get a tent and alarm, and then they get subwoofers. And then they get the HIDs. And then they get the wheels, et cetera. It depends on how you, how you go. But if it was me, I would go pretty much in that order because uh, I want the rims so I can kind of look good while I'm driving my car, while I'm waiting to save up to get my subwoofers um but yeah guys that is pretty much it for the video y'all have a blessed day this is robert you on the budget peace